Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast I'll be going over that monster severe weather event that could take place across portions of the United States next week and we'll also be going over the big temperature change that is expected to impact the entire country as we head into the new year. I'll give you a latest breakdown on both of those situations and more in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today beginning with the load of cloud cover that you might be noticing from the Midwest all the way back through the Southwest United States. All of this green and red is representing a bunch of cloud cover. Now the big thing with this is it's not bringing a whole lot of rain or snow. The only area that's really seeing snow today is back over in areas like Colorado, New Mexico, basically the four corner states. That's the region that we're starting to see a bit of precipitation. Otherwise, it's mostly just cloud cover. Now on the other hand, we do have a high pressure system back over near the mid-Atlantic region this is bringing drier conditions and as well as fairly sunny skies for those in the mid-atlantic all the way back through the southeast united states and it's also making it feel a lot more mild out there today in comparison to what we've seen the last few days and another thing to watch for over the upcoming days is going to be a trough that is in the pacific ocean this will bring the potential for some rain and even some snow into areas of california over the upcoming days and speaking of that we're probably going to see a lot more rain from where we've already seen here in california that is going to be coming over the next few days beginning with tomorrow we'll have some showers and maybe even a couple of storms going into thursday by friday more rain is expected we could even see a lot of snow in the sierra nevada as well this could accumulate upwards of a few feet of snow eventually going to friday into saturday more and more rain will continue in california which by the way this is really really needed in california so good news there but obviously it is a lot of rain that's expected here over the upcoming days with all the rain that we're probably going to see we could potentially have upwards of three to five inches of rain in some spots back over in san francisco all the way back through northwestern portions of california and even in the sierra nevada we could very well see upwards of several inches of rain now over in colorado as i mentioned there is some snow going on over here and this will continue throughout the day today we may see even some heavier snow pick up near denver colorado by this evening this could accumulate to a few inches of snow we might even see upwards of a foot of snow in a couple of areas but during the overnight hours tonight that snow will move off to the east so lighter amounts are expected after midnight tonight and eventually going into tomorrow morning all of colorado should dry out with maybe an isolated flurry still remaining what does this mean in terms of snowfall totals well many areas near denver could see upwards of six to ten inches of snow while maybe a few areas getting over a foot of snow is not out of the question and for those that want to go skiing it looks to be very nice because again a lot of snow is going to be coming out of this so skiing conditions should be prime after today now now, with all this being said, there are bigger concerns in terms of things like severe weather over the upcoming days, and that will begin as early as tomorrow across portions of the Southern Plains. As that trough comes out of areas like Colorado, it will begin to have some rising moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. That could fuel the potential for some severe weather. Maybe even a little bit of light to moderate snow as well on the northwest side of that trough back from Minnesota, even into areas like western Kansas. But again, severe weather is a big concern heading into tomorrow we may even see some storm activity heading into friday and eventually going to saturday we could begin to have even more storm activity roll through the mid-atlantic regions and maybe even into the new england region and eventually going into next week we have an even bigger concern and that is a much stronger trough this will be the potential for a severe weather outbreak in terms of maybe damaging winds large hail several tornadoes may all be in play next week as this trough begins to strengthen over the southern half of the united states and not just that this could also bring the potential for a winter storm from around Kansas and maybe western Oklahoma all the way back through the Midwest. It's kind of early to get into specific details in terms of snowfall and whatnot, but definitely something to watch out for heading into next week. But beginning with tomorrow, there is a marginal threat for severe weather in southern and southwest Arkansas, northwest Louisiana, and eastern Texas. And again, damaging winds and maybe a couple of tornadoes will be our main concerns for tomorrow. So mo for the most part, tonight and tomorrow morning will be dry. Once moisture starts to build, when dew points start to rise a bit more in those areas into the lower Mississippi Valley we'll begin to have the chance for severe weather heading into Thursday afternoon and especially during the evening hours is when storms will really fire up across areas even near College Station for example that's where we could begin to have some storms develop during tomorrow uh, late afternoon into the evening and eventually heading into the overnight hours a lot more shower and storm activity fills in from Texas all the way back through Arkansas damaging winds will be my main concern after probably about midnight but again a couple of tornadoes 
tornadoes may be possible before then with the strongest of the cells and then after that a lot more rain as well is expected but, and from there it just gets worse a stronger trough will impact the United States next week and it is expected to bring the potential for a severe weather outbreak we already have a slight risk for severe weather from about southern Indiana all the way through areas in East Texas so a very large area that we're watching heading into next week all modes of severe weather do seem to be possible at this time again this is a closer look at it so mo most of Arkansas is included in this as well as western Tennessee western Kentucky and even southern Illinois are included in that potential beginning with the southern plains on monday most areas will stay for the most part dry during the early morning monday but storms will really start to ramp up during the early afternoon hours right around lunchtime for those back in east texas all the way back through the lower mississippi valley and eventually going into the afternoon and evening storms really begin to ramp up from about louisiana all the way through southern illinois we could even see a little bit of snow back over in extreme northern oklahoma and through kansas this could potentially ramp up into a winter storm eventually going into late monday night to tuesday morning all that storm activity shifts off to the east and also your timing back over into the ohio valley storms ramp up again during monday afternoon eventually by the evening and overnight hours a lot of showers and storms some of these could be severe but the further north you go the lower chance you'll have of severe weather and again at the top left of your screen that is your low pressure system controlling the showers and storms and then snow on the back half of that trough eventually going into tuesday everybody should for the most part be dry out and also the temperature is heading into the new year will be much warmer than usual we'll have well above average temperatures for the most part across most of the united states to begin the first week of january from there will we have an arctic blast maybe just like we had in december that's a big question mark but we'll keep you posted if anything does change as we head into the first week of january this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting